I'm Michael Posnick with Century 21 Northumberland Real Estate in Summerside, Prince Edward Island, Canada. My specialty is exclusively waterfront properties, recreational properties, investment and development properties. Where we're standing is the entrance to Sunbury Cove. Since this is my first YouTube video, I thought it most appropriate to introduce you to what I feel is the number one and best investment in Prince Edward Island, if not North America. First, I'm going to begin by panning the entire subdivision. Where you see my truck is the entrance to Sunbury Cove. The, the road is about 3.2 kilometers, totally private, and it only leads to this exclusive subdivision. The subdivision is surrounded by about 200 acres of land that's owned by the subdivision. And in addition to that, there's probably another thousand acres plus that's owned by other owners and is in its natural state. So what I'm going to do is I'm panning here, looking at the back lots to our left, now to our center. We're going to get a glimpse of a house that's currently being built. Today's date, by the way, is November 1st, 2007 and the weather is absolutely spectacular. It's like a summer day. It's about 8 degrees Celsius. We're looking at lots 6 through 9. The house is being built on lot number 10. All these lots have southern exposure. Low bank, beautiful beach, spectacular views, and Confederation Bridge in the background, in the distance. It's not too intrusive. That's lot number 10. That house should be done by the end of this year, early next. Just panning over here through lot number 11 and 12. Looking directly down lot number 12 and directly behind it is the Confederation Bridge, which incidentally people pay big bucks for in PEI. That and the view of lighthouses and from these lots as well you have a view of at least two lighthouses. Over to our left are some trees coming up. That would be lot number 14 which is currently still for sale. And it's actually on the tip, the eastern tip of the entire subdivision. Phenomenal views. It's just in the process of having some of the bush cleared. Cul-de-sac coming up. And we should see lot number 16, which is sold. We'll slowly get into 17 through 19. In the uh, the background there is actually Sunbury Cove, which is what the subdivision was named after. You'll be able to see uh, commercial fishing boats. Uh, there's a few traps out there for traps out there for uh, for mussels. A few older cottages across the bay. And we're just going to pan right up to the other cul-de-sac. It's located on the northwestern corner of the subdivision. Directly behind me is lot 21, 22, and 23, just to my left. As you can see, they're fully treed with a view of the bay, totally private, dead-end cul-de-sac, absolutely gorgeous lots, very limited quantity. I'm 
beautiful view of the bay from this uh, from this location. For those of you that do want uh, panoramic views, still the privacy, uh, dead end cul-de-sac, virtually no traffic. It's a, it's a great place to be. One of these lots have been sold, and the one other one at the end of the cul-de-sac is currently available. So we're just scanning uh, over lot number 19 here. Well, you can see in the distance there on the right of the screen, almost at the center of the screen, is a natural wetland. Beautiful, beautiful place to go for a walk. And that's where the trademark picture of the, uh, the old tree stump was taken, it was out there on the tip. This is a view from lot number three, and just over the uh, water we can see the Confederation Bridge. This is the freshwater stream that actually is a really unique part of the property. This freshwater stream goes along the western boundary of the entire 240 acre parcel. Just to my right here is an English style lamppost. The entire subdivision is utilizing this style of lamppost. I think it gives a, the subdivision an extra touch of class. Um, and in the, in the distance behind me we can see the house that's being built that should be completed within the next month or so. Looking at lots 16 through 19 and then 20 gets into the trees. So that concludes my first YouTube video featuring what I feel is probably Prince Edward Island's, if not North America's, best waterfront investment property.